Previously on Stafford Brothers. Dare I ask how the trip is going? Oh, I'm running late for a plane. Is that wrong way? Wrong way! The travel gets to you, the, uh, the lack of sleep. It gets to a point where you just go, why do I do this? So tired. They're stuck in the airport now, and here I am, beautiful, sunny Santorini. He says he's our manager and he should be there managing the situation. Brooke just got a offer to do a photo shoot in LA. I don't miss Matt. Yeah. I love how you're dropping all the rules. Well, babe, you know, like, this is the first this time. This is the rules for tonight. Well, have you got any rules for me? Joey has a uh, relatively short fuse. One of you guys could have come and given me a hand. I was furious. I was really angry. We're actually performing before Fed to the Grand and after him. I didn't honestly think I was having a heart attack or anything, but oh my gosh, it was like jumping out of the socket. <laughs> For the first time ever, what happens on tour no longer stays on tour. Today's a bit of a milestone for me. It's um, 24 years that I've been in the nightclub industry. Actually, I can remember it very, very clearly. Sitting at home, getting the phone call from my uh, uncle. Actually, he called my mum and said, can I uh, have him help pick up glasses at, at his club? This is so exciting. I remember turning up to the club and just looking at this bouncer and him laughing at me, going, go away, boy. And I've gone, no, no, I've got to come and work here tonight. He goes, no, no, go away, boy just go, go, go play with your friends or something. And um, I just remember actually my uncle coming out the door and saying, um, saying to me, no, no, he's here tonight. He's here, he's helping us pick up glasses. There's a lot of, there's a lot of sinners here. Uh, oh my God, I want to marry this town. The number yeah. of sinners has just gone up. So I remember walking in there, just bright lights, big tits, short skirts, cigarettes, cigars, and I haven't looked back. I think there's nothing to do here but drink and party. I made my way up to sort of a, like a management role and to now owning my own venues. I've been stuck here ever since. Wow. Today, it's 24 years. It's been very hard work. It's had its trials, it's had its tribulations, it's had a lot of ups and downs, but um, um, sorry, I'm a little bit emotional now. Just thinking, sometimes I think we're up. Half where half of my life's gone. I'm not sure, but um, I've had a lot of family issues over this. I've lost a wife, an, an, another wife over this. I've lost, um, um, I've upset um, my family because this is not the road they wanted me to take. Does Chris get his own room? Uh, no, it's a room with Brooke and I, like. You got your plugs? Yeah, yeah, because Brooke's nice. Ah, because Brooke's nice. I, I nice. snore and told him I sleep as well. This is what I've known all my life, and uh, I'm probably going to die doing this because I won't retire. I won't retire. Not while the music is great, the lights are bright, the skies are dark, and the music is loud. I'm here forever. Shh. Okay, let me sort out these rooms. It did surprise me there's not a blade of grass, like, but looking out on all the beautiful white, painted white places is just, I don't know, it's so unique. I mean, it is Mykonos. You know what? It is amazing. It is, uh, the sun's shining, my mum and dad are here, the whole, you know, the whole family sort of thing. Joey Beck, yeah, it's a family affair. You can't, you can't fault this place. I'm getting a tan, I'm already burnt. How's this this morning, Trish? So I'm on my Facebook and this girl pops up who is Matt and Chris's. No joke, she has been following their career since they were rugby boys. Yeah. 
They've followed the whole time. She flew here by herself. Just to see them. Yeah. Well, who knows? Oh, well. She's like, where are you? What are you doing? La, 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 la. She's trying to, like, you know, like, get with me to go, like, with the boys. How's that? You look good. Yeah, I'm going right. Mate, just found them on the side of the beach. Hey, where were you? I couldn't find you. Hey, wow. Really good, good Sorry, I'm really sweaty and oily. I was, I was literally walking along the beach and saw them. Isn't it weird seeing you here? I know. Isn't it crazy? It's been one of those mornings where um, they've all come out of the woodwork today. There's a couple of guys that we know back home that we work with very closely. Grant Smiley, the DJ from TV Rock. Uh, Grant's got a um, really, really, really cool label at the moment called 360, where he's managing some of the biggest artists in Australia, including people like TV Rock himself and Ruby Rose. They're just, just, just a few of them. My mum and dad are here. Shut up! Hey, they've never been to Europe. So they've been to America several times, but they've just never been to Europe. So, uh, days. doing the whole, see the whole, see everything. National Lampoons. It is, mate, European the whole family. Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> We're working very closely with Grant at the moment on, on a uh, project that's very close to our heart. I can't really talk about it too much right now, but, mate, it's pretty much watch this space. Really, really busy? Yeah, really busy. Cool. Bit of a nightmare busy. Oh, really? You know, I, I love to know what Matt's doing and what, what future plans have got or what festival's happening, where, what DJs are where. So, I, I love the industry, so I always follow it. I finished the show and then I said, I'm going to Mykonos, and he's like, oh, you know what? Same kind of come. vibe, but a little bit different. Look, being here is very important. Sometimes you just don't know who you're going to bump into. Your life might change by meeting the right person and going, hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm DJ such and such or promoter such and such. How about we get together, maybe do a collaboration of some sort? Next thing you know, your life's changed completely. So it's very important being here. I've missed you, babe. Missed you too. Actually, we haven't even talked about it. Like, how was it? A brilliant, babe. Black, like, amazing. There's a rosebud in my garden. It takes a love and a life. That photo shoot? Yeah, no, it was awesome. We did it at Buck's place, you know. How's Buck? No, it was good. Did I you stay the night? No, I didn't stay the night. Alright, just clarifying. I, wish. I, don't, I never know no, what. No, oh, you wish? No, 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 but I was offered. He said to me, anytime you come back to LA, you've got a place to stay. Stay in my room. Yeah, I'm sure he dropped that one. I think our relationship works because we've got that trust and we also respect each other's boundaries. Tonight, babe, uh, obviously Mykonos. Here we are. Another thing, too, is a couple of rules like. I love it how you're dropping all the rules. <laughs> well, babe, you know, like this is the first this time. This is the rules for tonight. What, well, have you got any rules for me? No, just be good. What does be good mean? We always say it. Be good. Yeah, yeah fair call, but... That's just like, behave. Okay. Isn't it? What do you mean by behave, though? Like, behave. Like, just be good. Don't kill yourself and don't snog other chicks. I'm not going to do that stop. in front of you. Cool. <laughs> Wow, that makes me feel really good. No, of course not. <laughs> really confident about all your previous tours you've been on to. Of course not. Well, yeah, I understand. Yeah, just don't kill yourself. Mate, big show tonight. We've got uh, Platinum Presents tonight with um, the Stafford Brothers and Freddie Legrand. Hopefully um, stamp our mark in Mykonos again for 2010. <laughs> It's going to be a funny day because it's not something I like to do very often and that's get my hands dirty. You're actually going to see me doing something that I normally get my lackeys to do and that's uh, put out posters and hand out flyers and hang up banners and shit but you know, I'm here. I can't really afford to bring my whole team here so it's going to be one of those things where everybody's going to uh, hopefully help out today. I was furious. I was really angry. One of you guys could have kind of given me a hand. Yeah, so tonight I bought this amazing dress, um, especially for tonight. Cheers. <laughs> that club right on the side of the ocean like that is a, a picture in itself. We're actually uh, performing before Fed to the Grand and after him. They were a little bit too generous if you ask me.
Okay. We've got uh, Platinum Presents tonight with um, the Stafford Brothers and Freddie Legrand. It'll be a really big night. So I've got a few posters just that I can just put somewhere with just a little bit of blue tack, right? The little flyers are just going to put just like on the seats, right? And one sheer. So when we walked in to Barrow's Club in, in the day, it just you know, brought back a few memories and such a beautiful venue. And um, yeah, at night it just comes alive. The lights hit the water and it just yeah, it transforms into an amazing club. It's not something I like to do very often and that's get my hands dirty. You're actually going to see me doing something that I normally get my lackeys to do. And that's uh, put out posters and hand out flyers and hang up banners and shit. But you know, I'm here. I can't really afford to bring my whole team here, so it's going to be one of those things where everybody's going to uh, hopefully help out today. I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do with this shit. I want to put one in the front of the DJ console there. Now, is it going to go? Is someone, is someone going to rip it off and use it and use it as a cape like I did? Remember last year? Grab it. It was a marketing little push by Joey on the, the Platinum Club back in Broadbeach. The boys started fraternising with the owner, um, Thomas, and uh, I mean, they, they were overjoyed to see him. They were laughing, telling funny stories. <laughs> While uh, Matt and I were talking to Thomas, Joey was putting up posters around the venue, and we, we'd sort of said we, we were going to help him do it, and when we got there, we were talking to Thomas, and yeah, you know, time sort of slipped away, and I, I could tell Joey was actually really pissed off. Joey doing some work, finally. That time. that time Joey did something. So yeah, we're up upstairs and I noticed when Joey came upstairs he was in a bit of a mood. I could see he was pretty angry. And they really left Joey and I to uh, put all the pamphlets out and uh, it started to get on <laughs> Joey's nerves after a little while. He started to get a little upset. What have you guys been doing for the last half an hour? Talking to Thomas. Talking to Thomas. And? Hey, Having our night. That's bullshit, mate. That's bullshit. You, one of you guys could have come and given me a hand. Mate, mate you're, you're, you know you, what you want to see. Oh, we haven't I seen Thomas care, for mate. that like, long. We haven't hey? seen Thomas for that long, so we've just had a little catch up. And I can see by the end of this trip that some shit's going to happen. And it's going gonna, gonna, gonna to fly off the handle. Joey has a, a relatively short fuse and uh, he's, he's not afraid to show it. Well, you guys look very comfortable there. Yeah, while me, right. while me and your old man have been sweating our fucking asses Thank off there, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's, that's why we brought no, our dad that's, on no, this That's trip. wrong. I'm not happy. He's got to earn his keep. No, I'm not happy. Yeah. I'm not happy. Well, have you got it all done? <laughs> Mate, don't push it, please. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to go. <laughs> no, it's bullshit. Things are going to happen now. Yeah. What, tonight? Yes. What? I'm looking forward. Thomas said it's going to be a good night. I know it's going to be a good night, but you've you put me in a bad mood. I was furious. I was really angry. I was sunburnt. I was thirsty. I was hungry. Um, there they are sitting underneath a bungalow, and here I am sweating my ass off, and no one helping me at all. I thought I was out of line. What happened there? Like, why? Like, why did I just get treated like a dog? Here's the shit, go and do it. Well, tonight is Fede Legrand uh, and ourselves, so we're actually uh, performing before Fede Legrand and after him. Dancing. Fresh out of the ocean. Dancing squid. It is sort of moving. It is. So tonight I bought this amazing dress, um, especially for tonight, and um, it's gorgeous. Just a beautiful white dress, and it, especially with the tan, it looked great. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the night. Mate, everyone getting together before um, a show is always good. It's good for the morale. Like, I've done a bit of research on some of these uh, rock stars. They, they get on the gear, they, get, they do all sorts of things before they go on, but I suppose we do it in a different way. We sit down and feed our fat faces. You know that this guy's like a mate of mine tonight? Who? That owns a club. Oh, right, yeah. So can we just give him like a big, big show tonight? And seriously, just like, Make him feel wow, you know. Just, yep. just put it, put it all out tonight. The tunes, the music, everything. Yep. Just like hands in the air. The you know your specialty, the whole, you know. I mean, that's just great, great way to 
boost. Let's go, let's do this. Let's just get it over and done with. Let's just give him a really good night. Let's have a drink, hey guys. Drink, drink to that. Yeah, let's just give him a big show. All right, here's to tonight. Yeah. Today we can spend it all with you. And let's all rock right. it out. Cheers. Tear it up, Cheers. They were a little bit too generous, if you ask me. I mean, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. Well, my mum and dad, yeah, they've definitely passed on the party genes. My heart was that one. <sighs> The club has a, just a massive pool in the centre, overlooking the beach. You know, full moon tonight, the sun comes up in the morning, so we'll be doing basically a moonlight set and a sun, uh, sunrise, so best of both worlds, really. I guess going into this crowd, it's, it's a different crowd. It's sort of, there's so many different cultures. Everyone comes here with a different, you know, mentality. They're, they're here to party, they're here to, to, to let loose, so. I guess that's what we're sort of going in there, that, that sort of idea, the party atmosphere that, that we bring anyway, so. Choosing the playlist for the Mykonos crowd, um, basically went through all songs that would relate to that crowd, you know what I mean? So I have the songs there, I sort of have an idea, but we don't have a structured set, it's always off the cuff. Searching for songs, like through the CDs, it's, it can get quite a mess sometimes, especially Matt, because he doesn't know what is on each CD. Now I've told him to play this one and it's totally the wrong song, so. You just, uh, <laughs> you just uh, try and, you don't know, perform, basically. Just wing it. It always amuses me that uh, music is a wonderful international language. Uh, you, can, you can get uh, a lot of feeling across with that music. All those hands pumping up in the air, it was, uh, it was quite great. It was a, it was a great feeling. I, you can see why these young ones really have a great time there in those sort of clubs. They actually prepared and propped up this main guy very well. That was, a, that was an unbelievable warm up. That was just an incredible warm up. Like, there was like an extra warm up. They were a little bit too generous, if you ask me. My opinion, these people market to Australians, right? And I've got my opinion of what I wanted to hear for that night, but I don't know, maybe it's because it's like I'm more of a person that loves the sort of like uplifting techno now. But that's just my personal opinion. I mean, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. Sure, we have our fights, we have our slanging matches and everything like that. But um, at the end of the day, it's nothing personal. It's only business. Well, obviously, the dream was happening. We were seeing our sons, who have worked so hard to get to where they are now, performing in this amazing club. A pool in the middle of a club is just amazing. We were actually lucky enough to be on the top level, looking down at all the crowd pumping and I was doing it too. <laughs> I was so pumped when I saw the girls at the club. It was just amazing, you know, having new friends here from Australia and meeting them in Nick and Poss, like, it was rad. Well, my mum and dad, yeah, they've definitely passed on the party jeans. Um, they were there till I think seven in the morning. It's definitely sunlight because I remember um, yeah, putting them in the car to take them home and yeah, my mum was, yeah, she'd had a few drinks and so had dad and um, they got a lot of stamina those two, they were uh, yeah, party kids. We're still going, no worries.
caught up with so many different people. Um, a lot of people I didn't know too, like meeting new people, which was fantastic, and, and, and also, you know, guys like Fetty Legrand's management and MC and stuff. So, yeah, it was, uh, I was socialising and flitting around the party, but it was, uh, it was good times. <laughs> Honestly, I have really not drunk Red Bull very much and my heart when I got back and the sort of excitement of the moment was starting to go, my heart was like going I didn't honestly think I was having a heart attack or anything but oh my gosh, it was like jumping out of the socket. <laughs> and yet John had half a dozen cans and had no reaction so maybe his heart's not even there. <laughs> I thought it was amazing, and there's nothing better than when you actually finish as an artist, they put their hands up in the air, and 3,000 people, I believe they got last night, was um, um, a great way of saying, yeah, you guys rocked it. So we're playing with Axwell, and he's one of the Sweet Shouts Mafia, one of the biggest, you know, DJs in the world. Well, I've never encountered anything like this, and I don't know what advice to give you, so asking them for the playlist is just like asking the fucking colonel for his secret herbs and spices. It ain't gonna fucking happen. Next thing we know, we're in Belfast and we're actually playing at Mint Nightclub that night. No, no, no. You just don't know what was going to happen. Cops are everywhere and their cop cars are like tanks. It's a pretty amazing insight into a, a different way of life. <laughs>